In this video, we're going to talk about writing and executing case statements in SQL. So let's get into it. Now I am using the Northwind database. If you want it, link in the description down below. And I just ran a simple select all query on our orders table. So we're gonna be playing with the orders table for this case statement. Now, if you don't know already, a case statement is basically a way to change the output. It's like an if else statement. So if something equals this, then display this information. And you'll obviously see this through this video example here. And we're gonna be playing with the, the freight here. So basically, depending on how heavy something is, we will output whether it's like, you know, medium, light, heavy, etc. So that's gonna be our goal uh, for this video. So let me go ahead and start working on it. So we got select freight, we'll keep that up there. And then for the case statement, we start it with case. And I'm gonna do some spacing here so we can easily identify what is going on within our case statement. So the first thing is when, and then we freight. So what we're looking at, our freight, is greater than or equal to. So the, the expressions, mathematical expressions here work. So greater than, less than, equal to, et cetera, for identifying or finding values uh, work right here. So when freight is greater than or equal to 100, then we'll say it's heavy. So that's what we want to go ahead and put output uh, when freight is greater than or equal to let's go with 50 then medium and when freight I guess spell it correctly freight is greater than or equal to 10 then light else so you can end with the else statement or you don't need to end with the else statement. Feather. And then we have to name it and as how heavy. And we'll run our query real quick. So there we go. So we got our, our freight and then how heavy is it? So there we go. We got our light because it's between 50 and 10. And we got heavy above 100. We got a feather at 3.25 and so on. So you can see that depending on the weight, we showed a different value, right? Now, one thing to note about the, the case statement is that it goes from the top to the bottom. So as soon as one of these rings true, it executes and it doesn't look any, any lower. So if we wrote like, if we move this one up here on top of the 100 one, so, Obviously, if it's greater than 100, it's gonna be greater than 50. So basically what we're doing is everything that's 50 and above will say medium. And this 100 statement will never execute because uh, it always goes from top down. And if it executes, it meets the requirement, then it, then it outputs that information. So let me run it real quick. And as you see, we have no more heavies showing up here. So this should be heavy, but it's showing medium. And, you know, medium, but it should be heavy, and so on. So that's just one thing to remember. It starts at the top, and as soon as one of those is true, it executes. So you want to make sure that you have your case and when statements in the correct order, so that way you're getting the results that you're intending to get. Now we can also use aggregate functions as well with these case statements. So we'll do that as an example real quick. So let's do select, uh, we'll do customer ID and then sum freight, so our aggregate of sum. And then we have our case statement down here. And then so when, and then we throw the aggregate down here as well. So when sum freight is greater than We'll do a thousand because we're going to be adding up all the freights for each customer and they're a little bit heavier. So some freight greater than 500 and some freight is greater than 100. And then we still need to do our group by because we're doing an aggregate. So group by one and then we'll run that real quick. So boom, now we're using our case statement on aggregate functions. So you see, you know, we got heavy here, light, medium, etc. 
uh, it's basing our, our text here off of our aggregate function. So I just wanted to point that out real quick that you can use aggregation. You can also do math here if you wanted to. So if you had like freight times quantity or something to that effect, you could throw that in there. I think it's quantity just for fun, freight times quantity. So it might look like that. And then down here you do freight times quantity or whatever field you're, you're doing the math upon and then delete that out of there and so on. I just wanted to show you that you can do math, you can do aggregation and so on. And that's it for this video. If you found it helpful in any way, shape or form, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.